right, Peter Cobb down here outside the Maroon locker room after a thrilling, and I mean thrilling, four to three comeback win by these Maroons. And I'm here with our tonight's player of the game, Braden Burke. And uh, Braden, let's talk a little bit about tonight's game. I mean, the St. Mary's Lincolns come rolling into town. They score 28 seconds into this game. It's one nothing, and then it's two nothing, and then it's two to one, and then it's three to one. Yeah. But at the start of the third period, the maroon power play tonight was incredible. Four for four. You scored uh, the goal, a uh, power play goal at the start of the third period to cut that lead to three to two. Talk to us about, walk us through that goal. Oh, uh, yeah. I just got a great pass from our captain, Blaine Bassick, and just hammered it home. Didn't even know I scored and <laughs> kind of just played it off like I scored. Well, that was a beauty. I know that was D to D, and you banged it home, and that made it three to two. And then you assisted. On the uh, tying goal, I think Josh Cleary got that one, and uh, you uh, you assisted on that. Talk to us about the tying goal. Yeah, so I had the puck, and, you know, the lane was clogged, so I just gave it to Bass. Bass shot on net, hit off of Josh, and went in, celebrated pretty hard, so that was nice. <laughs> Absolutely, and then, of course, um, late in the game, another Maroon power play, and uh, with a minute 11 going uh, left to go in the game, and the Maroons went on to an incredible 4-3 to three victory, and an important victory because the St. Mary's Lincoln folks are just ahead of you guys in the standings. Your record is now back to 500. That's pretty darn impressive. Hey, let's let the uh, city of Chatham and all those people that view this uh, um, learn about uh, Braden Burke. Where are you from and where'd you play your minor hockey? So I'm from Tecumseh, Ontario. I mean, I played a bit for the Sun County Panthers and I played for the Tecumseh Eagles. <laughs> That's one of the great traditions of the post-game <laughs> interviews. And what I like about it is I don't need to go home and shower and neither you. You don't need yeah. to have a Good for you for hanging in there yeah. <laughs> with that. But that's how close knit this hockey club is. Yeah. You know, everybody cares about everybody else. But uh, so you're a Tecumseh, uh, you know, they had baseball back then, the Tecumseh yeah. Green Giants. They were a very good baseball yeah. team back in the day. Okay. Um, you played all your minor hockey in that area? Yeah. So I played Sun County and then Tecumseh. And then last year I played, or two years ago, I played for the Windsor uh, Junior Spitfires, U18 team. So okay. it was, that was fun. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. One of my favorite segments and the favorite segments of a number of people is what we call our rapid fire. I'm just going to throw some shots out there at you and tell you, uh, you see what you think. If you could sit down to, to any meal, any meal, what would it be? Maybe what restaurant would you go to or would it be a home cooked meal? Uh, I, you know, I'd probably just go with some pizza and then, you know, a milkshake. Can't go wrong with that. So. Oh, what flavor? Uh, probably chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, we gotta go. Oreo. Oh, Oreo. Okay. And is there a certain spot around that uh, milkshakes are top notch that you'd uh, recommend to our audience? Like Dairy Queen? Is that the DQ? Yeah, that I mean, to? I would go Dairy Queen or McDonald's. You know, can't go around with those. But, you know, at home, I make my own. So kind oh. of a chef in the kitchen. Yeah. You make your yeah. folks. There you go. Chocolate milkshakes made by Braden Burke. Look out. I can see it on signs all over the place. Hey, listen, Braden, what about music? What's your taste in music? Do you have a favorite singer and or band? Uh, you know, I'm not too, like, like, focus on one person, but, you know, I just listen to whatever's popping, you know, like, rap, I'm a big rap guy, and, oh, you know, okay. got into country the last couple of years, so that was nice, too. Well, last week, Graydon Jones threw out a rapper's name that I'd never heard of. Yeah, you know, uh, he, yeah, he's not. Too, uh, so you guys probably listen to the same type of music, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm a Harry Chapin guy, a little yeah, storytelling guy. You don't know who he is. Yeah. That's okay. I want you to listen to him. You can uh, Spotify him. Tell me what you think. Anyhow, okay, playing, uh, growing up and playing other sports, uh, um, other than hockey, any other sports catch, uh, catch your eye? Yeah, so, I mean, I was a big lacrosse player up until oh. I'd probably say, like, grade nine. I just quit when COVID happened. Um, I played soccer, baseball, basketball, played, played golf, like, you know. Played it all. Yeah, wow. yeah. You know what? That's uh, And I often found that. I taught school for 30 years, and our hockey players, they always were very exceptional yeah. in other sports, too. And it always seemed when we had a big volleyball or basketball tournament, those hockey guys were off going to play in a tournament or something. We were behind the eight ball. Anyhow, um, so tell me, what favorite baseball team? Uh, probably Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, you know, I mean, I've watched them with my dad since I was young and 
I mean, no, they're a pretty good team. Here in Windsor, the yeah. Tumsey area, yeah. the Tigers are just <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes away yeah. from your hometown. I, I mean, mean, this is my dad's favorite team, so I kind of just hopped on the bandwagon. Fair so, enough, yeah. fair enough. And how about hockey? Do you have a favorite NHL team? Yeah, so ever since I was a kid, Montreal's been my team. Oh, my whole Blue family. Blue Rouge, huh? yeah, Montreal Canadian. And how about a favorite hockey player? Uh, I like Connor McDavid. I like Jack Hughes. I like the way they play, so yeah. Well, you played a lot like Connor McDavid tonight, getting that, uh, you know, assist on that tying goal, especially. Well, listen, Braden Burke, you, you hung in there, you got drenched. An incredible, folks. Four to three, come from behind victory by these Maroons. Uh, it was truly exceptional, and they're back to 500. This gentleman's name's Braden Burke. The man behind the camera is Chris Taylor. My name's Peter Cobb saying, so long. <laughs>